What's up everybody, we are Diana and Phil, Diana here is from the United States and I, Phil, am from Germany and in this video we're going to talk about German dating stereotypes. Ooh. So these are some pretty common stereotypes when dating someone from Germany. We are going to give our opinions on the matter based on our observations and experiences as a German man and an American woman. So point number one is Germans are too honest when it comes to dating. And this is a pretty common stereotype that Germans are direct and they're too honest. So in the US we tend to fake nice more and we will give a compliment even if we don't mean it. And the stereotype for Germany is that Germans will not do that. They'll tell you straight up how it is. The stereotype is if they don't like the dress you're wearing, they will tell you they don't like that dress. Or if they don't like the food that you just cooked on your first date, they'll tell you that they don't like the food. All right, so I think to an extent that stereotype might be true because I noticed in the beginning when we started dating that you pointed out sometimes that I was more direct. However, I think the straight up pointing out negativity is not a thing. Like nobody goes on a date and is like, you look fat in that dress because- that <laughs> You would, look fugly. Like, where would that bring you? Like that's, <laughs> that's not really the point of dating, right? However, I think honesty is one of the most important things in a relationship and if you start off by doing by by lying a lot that's not leading you somewhere really the thing is where it definitely differs is that we're not doing that many of these positive lies like you said compliments that you don't really mean i think it's still on a scale there because of course not all stereotypes apply to every person yeah. it depends heavily on the person so i think that stereotype is highly over dramatized but in essence slightly true from an American point of view. Perspective. Yeah, I agree. I think it heavily depends on the in individual. That's why stereotypes can be very harmful. I'll give you an example for this certain topic though in our situation. Say I make this nice romantic dinner date, right? I've got the, the whole entree ready, then I make dessert, and then someone says, I don't like cheesecake, even though I spend so long making a cheesecake. That's the kind of directness you'll get versus I think in the US someone might be like, like, oh, it's great. Okay, I think it depends on the scale of the dislike for cheesecake. So for example, <laughs> I'm not a big cheesecake fan. And I told her that, I said, I don't really like cheesecake. I'm not After saying I don't like your cheesecake or this cheesecake sucks. No, I'm saying I don't like cheesecake in general. I'm sorry, it's nothing personal, right? Um, of course, it's but an opinion. I, I think it comes down to how early or how late you are in a relationship. That was later on, so I told her. So it was fine. I think in the beginning, <laughs> I would have maybe sucked it up and tried to do it. <laughs> but it depends on how much you dislike it. If you really, really hate it and you're lactose intolerant, you start gagging or shitting yourself, then how do you fake it? You can't fake it. You can't just eat it and be like, mm, this is great. <laughs> so point number two is that Germans have no sense of humor when dating. A very common stereotype is that Germans are stone cold, standoffish, and not funny. So don't expect to laugh on a first date. All right, so I think the stereotype can be true. However, I think that comes from a non-dating perspective. So if you meet any people that are just bitter in life, which we have a lot of, that can be the case. However, I think when it comes to dating, humor is very important. And to be honest, when I'm in a good mood, I'm almost never fully serious. And I think it's key on a date, especially first meeting a woman, to make her feel comfortable and humor is a great way to do so. And if you laugh together, you already broke that barrier. So I think humor is super important. Although I think when it comes to meeting new people or dating the first couple of dates, Germans might tend to be a little bit more reserved and not as quick to open up towards new people. And that could potentially be perceived as not being that funny. So I think that's where it might come from. And when it comes to a dating scenario, I don't think that stereotype is true. Of course, you can always meet people that are absolutely not funny, but then you should just run away. <laughs> I think humor is super individual. Sometimes there are cultural humors. Uh, sometimes we're watching a show oh, yeah. and Phil's laughing and I was like, that wasn't funny. And he's like, oh, it's German humor. Like it's, it's a yeah, little different. British humor yeah. is such a different, like, weird, dark thing. Yeah, so humor can be very cultural. So it doesn't mean someone's not funny if you don't understand their humor. I will say though, I think the, the stereotype Germans are not funny doesn't really apply in our case because I think Phil is freaking funny sometimes. <laughs> 
But I don't let it go to his head, so he's not like super funny. You're not the funniest person. Oh, now I know. <laughs> I'm the funniest person you've, person you've ever person met. Person you've ever met. You're so funny. They get it. The new stereotype, Germans are the funniest. <laughs> Before we continue this video, I want to take a quick moment and remind you guys, please like the video and subscribe to our channel if you like these kind of videos. I can see that about 85% of our viewers are not subscribed to this channel, so please subscribe, it will help us out a lot. If you want to further support us, you can do that on Patreon. We have a Patreon page, it's patreon.com slash Deanna and Phil. And we have different tiers and benefits that you get from supporting us there. We want to take a quick moment to thank our family and soulmate level patrons. Our soulmate level patron, Ricky, thank you so much. You're awesome. Thank you for your support. Also, a shout out to our newest soulmate patron, Dino. Thank you guys so much for supporting our channel further. It really does help to run this channel. Thank you guys. Also, big shout out to our family member Patreons, Tony Sanchez, Rudy Zazov, Nirea Rivera, Fred42, Marcus Ottensman, John Arnoza, Stefan Prugel, Ethan Mitchell, and Heather Kuffner. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, big thank you. Thank you. Back to the video. So point number three is that German men are not chivalrous. So the stereotype is that German men will not hold the door open for you. They will not pick you up from your house for on a first date and they will not pay for your meal. All right, so chivalry, I would say compared to other countries, that stereotype might be true. Because here's the thing, German women are very vocal and clear about being independent and equal to men. So that's how we treat them. For me, and I guess most German guys, I would say on a first date, I would definitely pay for everything. I would also, of course, try to be a gentleman, hold the door, maybe a little, a little bit, just a little bit, a crack. <laughs> But it's like a mating dance, you know, you do these things on a, on a first date or on the first dates. But when it comes to a long term, a real relationship, I'm not here to buy love. So I think the spendings should be kind of equal. And I kind of would try to make it 60 40 in like your her favor. And then the point of the picking up thing. I heard that a couple of times now. And is that a thing in the US picking up the girl on the first date? I think it really comes down to the location. If you live in a big city and you're going somewhere using public transportation, it makes no sense to pick her up if it's way out of your way. So you usually set a meeting point and that's where you go. You meet each other for your dates. If it's another situation, it's like back in high school, you just got your driver's license, people live in villages and you have to go to a city, then of course I would pick her up and go somewhere to do stuff because we have to. Yeah, we'll talk a little bit more about that in our American dating stereotypes video. But going back to the paying on the first date, you didn't pay on our first date and we split everything pretty early on all of our dates. I think that was because it wasn't a date. We just in the in retrospect called it a date and by then it was just schoolmates going to eat something together. <laughs> yeah, but it was fine because I really feel uncomfortable when people pay for me on the first date. It feels weird to me. So if someone would buy something on the first date or pay for the first date, I would, I would try to get like the dessert or the tickets for the next thing or something. Yeah. It's just a weird feeling. I don't know. I respect that. <laughs> yeah, so maybe Phil wasn't super chivalrous in that sense on our first date, but I think Phil is very chivalrous in other ways, which I appreciate. Chivalrous, I don't even know what that means really. But for example, we were traveling and I had no athletic shorts and I made this comment. I find out later that Phil went out of his way. He was gone a whole day. I don't know what he was doing. And he was shopping at different stores looking for women's athletic pants for me because I needed that and yeah. I think that's very nice like that's in my mind the kind of chivalry I look for I can I can open my own door but shopping for pants I, I like that <laughs> I don't like shopping yeah, I just try to do a nice thing <laughs> by the way if you're wondering what the, this weird thing on my foot is uh, I've been in a street fight <laughs> I didn't know that's what you were gonna say. Okay, um, uh, it's plastic surgery. <laughs> I got a more removed. So point number four is that Germans love to talk about insurance, healthcare, and politics 
on dates. Dude, this is such a stereotype and I even heard the stereotype before coming to Germany or meeting any Germans. The stereotype is that Germans like to talk about these topics that in the US we would consider big no-nos. In the US you don't talk about insurance, healthcare, or politics at business meetings. You try not to talk about them in social settings or on dates because people just argue usually. <laughs> this wasn't really true for Phil and I on our first date or first dating or anything, but I have been approached so many times at social events <laughs> or in general about a lot of Germans wanting to talk to me about politics and insurance, especially health insurance. It's so funny. All right, here's thing. So first of all, if you talk about these topics on a date, nah. I think Germans in general, or maybe it's just me, let me know, do not like to talk about insurance, politics, or healthcare at all. I think where that stereotype comes from, especially from a US point of view, is whenever a German meets an American, which is usually not that often, the mind immediately goes to these things that are different in America. And one of the first things the German mind thinks about is the healthcare system and how bad we perceive the US healthcare system compared to the German ones. So the mind goes there and then of course they bring up the topic because they're probably curious. They want to see if the American is aware of that or how they see the matter. So I think that's why in general people just like to talk about freaking health insurance with <laughs> Americans. I noticed that when we were in Thailand and we met people from all over the world, it always came up. Health insurance comes up. Politics and then come up. You're just curious. I think that's why these topics come up. But I think they have nothing to do on a date. So point number five is that Germans are loyal and will never cheat. And this is such an interesting stereotype for me because I really had never heard this stereotype until I told people that I was dating Phil. And then so many people came out and said that like, oh wow, Germans are so loyal. You hit the or, jackpot there. Yeah, yeah it, was such a, <laughs> it was such an interesting thing to experience. I was even sitting at a consulate in Germany and chit-chatting like Americans do. <laughs> and there was this lady and she was telling me, oh yeah, you know, my German husband, he's so loyal, comparing it to her other European husband. And it was such an interesting stereotype that like Germans are so loyal and so so faithful of lovers, the loyal lover, the German, and that's something I had never heard before. <laughs> so I think that stereotype mainly comes from a friendship perspective. That's what they always say. It's yeah. hard to make a German friend, but if you got one, you got one for life. What people say, right? Yeah, and I think that's true. So in America, it might be a little quicker to make a friend through small talk or whatever. I also noticed that Americans use the term friend a little more loosely, yeah. I think. Yeah. So if you have a German friend, it's a more established relationship, I guess. However, once you have a German boyfriend, they're the most loyal and they're gonna never cheat on you. I don't think that's true at all. I think cheating happens a lot probably yeah. everywhere around the world yeah and I definitely know that Germans do that I don't know if Americans might be even looser with that and value their relationships less but I don't know I, don't I would have so. to look up the statistics <laughs> who cheats more yeah. but that not happening in Germany that's just not true yeah I feel like even if there was a statistic on uh, who cheats the most that wouldn't be an accurate statistic I don't think people would be willing to tell the truth on that poll <laughs> yeah that's true so point number six is if you go on a beach date Germans are gonna be wearing speedos Dude, this is such a stereotype of Germans and Europeans in general from an American's perspective. If you go on a beach date and you're with a German girl, she's just gonna be topless. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a German guy, I wish. He, he's gonna be wearing a banana hammock. Yeah. I was so disappointed on our first like pool date when you came out and it wasn't a speedo, it was just swim trunks. It was the most disappointing thing of my life. <laughs> All right, so that stereotype is super funny and also that's not only <laughs> dating related, that's general, I think. Yeah. But let me ask you this, how many American men wear Speedos? None. What would you guess? None. So... I don't know, maybe some. Coming from that perspective, I have to say that stereotype might be true. <laughs> but there is kind of a generation gap because children, boys, tend to wear Speedos. Yeah, little... Parents still put them in Speedos. Yeah. And then older people, like 70s and up maybe on the beach. I don't know why they tend to wear speedos. Yeah. But in between young, normal, sane people, 
<laughs> if you go on a date with a guy in their 20s, in their 30s, in their 40s, hopefully, they will not wear a Speedo. What? Don't throw Sane on that. If I was in my 30s and I was a dude, I'd be rocking that Speedo. I don't want that tan that... line all the way down here. I want it up here. Yeah, I mean, tan line, that's fine. But if you go to, I don't know, Mallorca, which is the Germ where the Germans go on the beach, right? You barely, barely ever see that. From a normal person, it's just considered bad taste and inappropriate to wear that. And it often looks so stupid with the hairy white legs and you're just having the Speedo on. I am upset by how against Speedos you are. Man, you need a Speedo in your life. Maybe you'll love it. Yeah, I'd rather get one of these Borat mankinis. Yeah, if I was a dude, I'd be wearing Speedos all day. I'd be showing it off. It would be awesome. It would be bright yellow, <laughs> pink maybe. So overall, these are some common dating stereotypes. I think we concluded that it really depends on the individual and individual personalities, but it's always interesting to talk about some of these things and kind of debunk them. They're pretty funny. Yeah, comment below if you agree with any of these stereotypes, if you might even fall into one of these stereotypes, or if you just think they're out there or not, or if they're completely false. Let us know in the comments below. Yes. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.